Question about transformer asked by Sabrina Lam. The figure shows a model power line. An AC supply and two IDU transformers are used to operate a lamp, rated 6V and 24 volt. The total resistance of the cable AB and CD is 10 ohm. If the lamp is operated as rated values, that means the lamp needs 6V and it will supply 24 volt. We are asked to find the power loss. Now the lamp needs 6V and it will give out 24 volt. First, we need to find out the current passing through the lamp and it was supplied by the secondary coil of the transformer. That means IS. And IS will equal to the 24 watt over 6V. That means the lamp will get 4A. The next step, we need to find out the current supplied by the cables, IP. And this current will go to the primary coil of the transformer. And then the current will step up to 4A, to this secondary coil call currents. Okay. So IP originally in the power curve should be 4A over 20, means 0 0.2A. The energy loss in the cables, okay, the cable is these two cables, is equal to I square R. So equal to 0 0.2 square times 10, then it will become 0 0.4 walk. Okay, but some girls, okay, they like to uh, use the voltage to calculate the chance, uh, the energy loss. Look at this. When the light bulbs this 6 V, and the step down transformer, it must step down from a high voltage to 6 V. So the voltage across these two points, that means the primary, is 6V times 20. So it is 120V. When you calculate this voltage, you just calculate the voltage across the primary, not the cable. Okay. The current passing through the cable, we can find it okay, quite easily. But we cannot find the voltage across the cable easily. And actually it is very small. So the voltage you found 120 is not the voltage across the cable. We cannot use this voltage to calculate the energy loss.